the effing Rugrats going to get this show started. All Ego Unlimited to face the effing Rugrats who are outweighed by almost 600 pounds. What the hell's gonna happen here? Christian Cole, Kathy Campanelli, Bar Wrestling Tesselmania. Today's November 15th, 2018, and referee Nick Bonanno about to get this show started. Welcome back, Kathy. Well, thank you so much, Christian. I'm really happy to be here. Testimonia is uh, in partnership with Movember Foundation, which is all about promoting men's health. I supported WrestleMania, you support Testimonia. It uh, makes sense. It's to a win win, really. As these three men, Brody King, Ethan Page, Tyler Bateman, are trying to find a way to get the ski mask, the, the pantyhose, rather, off Ethan's oh. face or tighten it up, actually. I mean, just, okay. He's ready to, to take it on now. The bell has been called for Lucha Rules in this match. It starts us off, six man, and those chops don't mean shit around here. That was, it was barely like a butterfly's wing against those. Those very intense gentlemen. Will the butterfly effect take place? Will those chops on these three large men affect them in the long, in the long term? I, I don't think so. What polar opposites to just see these teams? Great point. And now it seems like the Rugrats are having, they're, they're having a conference of some sort that may involve chops. I don't think the three of their ages combined would equal 18, and I think you gotta be 18 to wrestle. If bar wrestling, now they're just chopping each other. <laughs> Can someone check on Marco Stunt, please? Marco just had his sixth birthday last weekend. Speaking of, of, of men's health, Born in I think 2012. You, Sorry, Kathy, go ahead. That's okay. I think you, that might have been puberty. Just puberty. happened. So that's, Forced in by his yeah. partner, Eli Everfly, who, if you haven't seen Eli Everfly wrestle, it is a treat to behold the way he flies around any ring that he's in. And, and his partner, Marco Stunt, in the ring now, a very similar resume, very similar reputation. And Marco wanted out. I mean, Marco knows he's undersized, and that's typical, but here, Kathy, he, he's severely undersized against the larger giant Paige. Ooh, all ego as he's laying another chop into him. Ethan Paige with that beautiful right-handed knife edge chop across the chest, and the, you can see the effects on the young boy's chest already. Look at this oh. counter, beautiful, and a counter by ego. And Ethan Page, nimble, but get his leg kicked out there. Beautiful knee! And look at Marco Stunt now flying in! Putting that boot right to the kisser of Ethan Page, and Page comes in! And a shoulder block from hell! Taken down Mr. Fun Size. Mr. Fun Size cut down into bite size. Really decapitated by Ethan Page, but. Oh, uh oh, oh. I don't think Eli Everfly knew what he was getting into. A long history here between these two men who have wrestled each other a number of times in and around Southern California and have made real careers for themselves after both starting their wrestling journey off at Santino Bros Wrestling Academy in Bell Garden. Now, two bona fide stars in the scene here in California nationally. Let's listen to this. Jesus Christ. Now, I have been told by multiple sources that Brody King's chops are some of the meanest in the business. You do not want to be on the receiving end of one of those. I saw him go chop for chop with Walter recently at the Globe Theater in Los Angeles. It was one of the craziest things to see. Look at Eli now flies up. Oh, tries to counter, but doesn't have the strength to pull the big man over. Underneath the clothesline, Eli beautiful over the top. Oh, he's caught here. The monster comes in but misses a clothesline, and Eli Everfly goes up and around. Everfly can't spin him, though. Yes, he can! Oh, yes, he can. Beautiful by Everfly, the strength and agility from the young man, and he gets over on Brody King, who's now hung up on the middle rope, right where Eli wants him. Oh, gearing up. Oh, we're going for 
that joint 619. I think it's the 1140 or something like that. 1140, whatever that number is, times two. And you look at Brody King now, who's having words. But what great awareness from Brody King to know he was in a danger zone and get himself out. Brody King so vicious, so dangerous. And his partner, Tyler Bateman, in the corner, begging to get in the match. And, and King's going to oblige him. If you've never seen Tyler Bateman wrestle, you're going to see a unique style that presents itself like nobody else. There's quite a way about himself. It's, it's, it's almost the devil dressed up as a, a noble gentleman. And of course, standing across the ring, Delilah Doom, who's confused on the antics right now of Bateman. Let's see. So, so, we won't snitch. And he's giving her a way out. Giving her an out. See, gentlemen. That's just disrespectful. These fans know that Delilah Doom has earned her. Let's listen in again. Uh. And Shad Gaspar oh. talk of trash from the entrance. All right, all right. He's in the room. He probably sold his 14th T-shirt of the night. And now some beef between Shad and Bateman, but Delilah Doom is ready. She, I mean, she's always ready. She's, she is prime. She is, she's a powder keg. She's, she's going to explode. Delilah Doom fancies her aerobics. Some say she's an 80s aerobics queen. A throwback indeed. I'm big enough to admit when I'm wrong, that was fucked up. <laughs> Maybe an apology. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow. That ain't right. And Bateman's getting a kick out of this. The veteran in the ring standing across from Doom and just disrespecting her. Tyler Bateman. Bateman pulling that elbow pad over the right elbow. We know how vicious those forearms and elbows are from this striker. She, Bateman's going to give her a free shot. But this is just more trailing with that disrespect, Kathy. I mean, we're just going to give your opponent a free shot to start the match. He's trying to prove that chivalry isn't dead. But she took it, and so did he. Oh. Up and over goes Delilah Doom. She's caught both, ha both hands now. Bateman just lifts her straight in the air, puts her in a precarious position up in that corner with a patronizing tap on the head. Good for that one. And look at that now. Delilah, beautiful, gets the momentum. Head scissors locked in and throws him over the top. And now she goes for it again. And beautiful. Look at Doom moving around the ring like water is Delilah Doom. Fantastic. She comes in with that vicious forearm, Kathy. And I don't think she's going to be able to get that Irish whip off. I mean, she's outweighed by about 100 pounds here. Christian, she's fiery, though. But Doom gets reversed. As expected, but a beautiful back elbow catches him right in the mouth. And I'm not sure who took the worst of that, but it seems as if Bateman was able to collect Doom, and she's caught now, Kathy. Uh-oh. Things are not looking good for Delilah Doom. Oh. Up and over goes Doom. Able to push her way out, though. Hits the ropes. Delilah Doom. Quesadora, maybe? She can't get it. And a huge right hand from Tyler Bateman knocks Doom out cold, and she's not moving. Now, in Bateman's mind, he's probably considering he gave her the option. She chose to stay. The punishment that he's now putting on her is because of the decision of Delilah Doom to try to show this man up. And he's not one to want to be shown up as Tyler Bateman as he tags in his violence unlimited partner, Brody King. And Brody puts that size 16 boot right on the rib cage of Doom. We talked about being severely outsized earlier, Kathy. This is just ridiculous. Oh, my. 
I think I felt that. Oh. And I don't really know how to feel about that because that's as vicious of a chop as I've seen any gender land on another. Absolutely. There's, I mean, that's the beauty of intergender wrestling. You step in the ring and you're getting it full force. It doesn't matter. They're not going to go easy on you. And Doom trying to catch her breath now. And Doom takes a beautiful backbreaker from all ego, Ethan Page, the third member of Ego Unlimited, as Banano hits the count, but Nick only gets to two. Now, Ethan Page has a really strong background in a variety of combat sports, karate, taekwondo. It's, we're really seeing his athleticism here, as well as... Oh! Some and what martial well art into. teaches you a spinning backbreaker with the fundamental and just effortlessness that Ethan Page just delivered to Delilah Doom. It's the beauty of the discipline of the combat sports with the flair of professional wrestling. And if you look over at Marco Stunt and Eli Everfly, there's almost nothing they can do but watch their partner get decimated with vicious strikes from all three members of Ego Unlimited. How frustrating that has to be to just watch her in agony. She didn't even know what corner she's aiming for at this point. Bateman just dragging Doom by the hair. And he just sticks that gluteus right to the side of the face. He's gonna use any muscle he can to try to knock her down and keep her down. And this is almost scary. The dangerous position that Doom is now in. Tag team wrestling here. Oh, able to get Bateman right. over is Doom. Goes under and trips Brody King up and gets Marco Stunt the tag. Fantastic. In nice. comes Stunt and down goes Stunt. We almost had some momentum going, but Ethan Page just chopped down that tree. And Page now goes right after. Eli Everfly in the corner, and now Ethan Page, front chancery, goes in for a suplex hold. And look how effortlessly he lifts the young boy up and down. Jackhammer by Ethan Page. Cover, count, only two. And Kathy, what do you think? I mean, this young boy is, is outsized, but the crowd is behind him here. And it's because of the drive, the determination, the will. Mark Stump had set up wrestling rings to just try and earn what he could. He has that, that determination and, and he wants to succeed. He's gonna, He's gonna take the chops as they come. You can hear a hollow sound where his heart is supposed to be. I'm sure it exploded. Oh my God, and that was a one-handed suplex from Brody King. And that should be a gift. If you're listening to this right now, gift that. Because that suplex was delicious. It, I love that you call it delicious. It's delicious. Wow. Brody King's a monster, but he's also one of the most athletic men in this game today. And his tag team partner, Tyler Bateman, who's now in for a cover, hand across the face. Tyler Bateman is as dangerous as they come, not only in, in the ring and physically, but with his mind as well. He's using his head right now. I like it. He's putting his mind to work. He, he, just, he really displays a certain degree of brutality that's just otherworldly. Such an interesting character, Tyler Bateman. This is the crowd behind Marco Stunt. No matter where Marco Stunt goes, they call him Mr. Fun Size, but he gets big size crowds behind him. Absolutely. Self-described little man-child on the loose, and here he goes. Look at all ego catching Stunt now. No way. Oh, beautiful! Marco Stunt! Woo. Incredible by Marco Stunt. What a counter. And what does he call that? The mark out. Beautiful mark out by, mark out by Marco Stunt. Who seems to have his wit and tries to go for the tag. And he gets Eli, yes, he gets Eli. And Brody Eli. King's in. Oh man, Eli's caught here. Two knees, drops the big man, does Eli ever fly? Everfly trying to gain some momentum here on the tag, trying to save the chances for his team, which is badly battered right now. Tag team maneuver. 
He sends Paige back in, Bateman. And now Eli Everfly steps on the men, comes in, Rana! The creativity of Eli Everfly in every match is just unparalleled. Unparalleled indeed, able to pull Bateman down onto the middle rope. Sets himself up, but able to pull down Paige now. Big man comes in, but he misses. Eli Everfly spinning around. And Everfly in control now. And this crowd fired up for Eli Everfly. All right, he's calling for the rest of his team. What are they up to now? A tag team maneuver from the effing Rugrats. As we see 619s in stereo around the ring. Stunning display. These three big men are rocked right now. Will this be the chance for the underdog team? All three goozled, this is trouble. Oh my goodness gracious. In mid-air, chokeslammed into one another. But they fight back to the underdogs. And the effing Rugrats with the three super kicks. Launching Delilah Doom, thrown into the corner. And line them up, Joe, or Brody. Oh. Chop one, chop two. Oh. And right in the back. Oh. A painful chop as Brody King's so hand size is about two times the size of the clavicle of Delilah Doom. Everfly up high. Oh! Mark out, mixed with the knees from Eli Everfly. And Beautiful tag team maneuver. In for the cover. And Rose, just two. I can't believe it. I think we're just dealing with two teams that will not say die. No one's going to say uncle in this situation. The heart and passion between all these six people in the ring is evident on this night. Beautiful kick by Delilah Doom from the top. She goes in, she gets caught by Bateman. She fights off the right hand. Eli Everfly in now. Beautiful tag maneuver with the sliced bread spear. A little razzle dazzle, a little sparkle. Can she get it? No. These teams are giving referee Nick Warner to run around and he's dealt with them in some capacity, every single one of these individuals. And now he's gotta try and reel them all at the same time. We got the Rugrats beating up on Tyler Bateman. It's just pandemonium. The crowd seems to like this as they've seen these three get their butts kicked for the majority of this match, and now they're finally in control of Bateman. Three on one, albeit. Probably the most even odds. That's exactly right. They're certainly the underdogs in this match, as we've said many times. And all ego, Ethan Page pulls up Doom, effortlessly pulls her up. And throws her in for the power bomb. Ethan Page fighting back. No. Oh no. Look at the strength of all ego. Oh, unbelievable. Two men power bombed in one. He's going to go for a double cover. Delilah breaks it up. Delilah Doom just in time to save her team. The F and Rugrats will continue, but she's in a bad spot. Takes a knee to the side. Oh. Couldn't see that coming. Jeez. That's got to be it. Oh, my goodness. How the hell did Delilah Doom just kick out as that clothesline super kick combination was as vicious as I've seen? Christian, I don't even know where that energy came from. That's some of that aerobic energy. That's exactly right. Oh. Brody now kicks Eli as hard as I've ever seen a man get kicked in the side of the head. Now we have and a beautiful right-handed shot by Brody King. And now King and Marco in a bad spot for Marco. We have most of the rest of the team just spilling out into the crowd. But Marco is, is giving it to Brody King as well as he can. Oh, oh boy. All right. Marco Stunt trying to use everything he has to pull down Brody King, but to no avail. Oh, uh -oh. As King about to lift him through the freaking ceiling. 
and King is a psychopath. What are you doing, oh, Brody no, no, King? No, 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 no. Nervous, intense moments here at Bar Wrestling's Tesselmania as Eli Everfly comes in with a strike out of nowhere and oh Everfly. My goodness. Eli Incredible. Goes flying. I mean, it's got to happen at least one point during every Eli Everfly match. Holy! And Delilah Doom with a cover hooks a leg. Oh. It's not enough. And she flies out of the ring. Tornado DDT on the cold cement floor. And stunt flies! Beautiful! Marco stunning for the cover. And, and that's, that's it! it. <laughs> what an effort by the effing Rugrats. What a match we saw here today to kick off Tesselmania. And, and what a way to get started. They pulled it all together. Huh.